Hey, it's Jess here with some crazy Priscilla Presley hair that makes me look like I am possibly in the midst of a manic episode. Um, I actually am not, however, even though I have four videos going up this weekend. It's not that. Um, it actually is just that I have absolutely nothing else better to do with my time than sit here and think of really exciting DIY projects like this one that I'm going to show you today. It really is kind of more so geared towards curly hair, so if you have straight hair, go ahead and click out of here at this time because the rest of this video is pretty much going to be a waste of your time. Or you can stay and hang out with us cool curly haired people. Uh, normally my hair is actually curly and one of the products that you need when you have curly hair is some kind of spray to re-wet your hair. Um, basically to re-moisten your hair to freshen it up. I actually use this step before I finish blow drying my hair so what I'll do is let it air dry probably about 90 to 95 percent sometimes a little bit less if I'm in a hurry because I just don't have the luxury I have to you know start blow drying it right away but I air dry it as much as humanly possible and then I actually spray it with some kind of re-wetting spray to kind of moisten it just a little bit I don't saturate it I just kind of mist it a little bit and then I go ahead and blow dry it and I find that I have a lot less frizz I have a lot more volume and that's just a step that you can actually use that step too then later on in the day let's say you're going from day to night you're going you know from the office to a date or something along those lines and you really just kind of want to freshen your hair up without having to go through the whole process of washing it you can spray this on it and just kind of fluff it a little bit so there are lots of sprays that you can buy you know that are on the market diva curl has one that's incredible it's like a lavender scented mist it's called Mr. Right. Um, I actually really also like the Tresemme heat protectant spray. That's a really good one to kind of freshen up your curly hair. Uh, other ones, oh, there's a John Frieda one but that's called Dream Curls. I did actually show that in one of my empties videos. That is an excellent re-wetting spray as well. Or what I'm going to show you is a way that you can make one at home. So pretty easy, breezy, and you can, you know, kind of control the ingredients that are in it. So let's go get started. All right, so the first thing here, I'm going to show you the products that you're going to need to make the spray. Now, I you're going to need some kind of a spray bottle. I'm actually just going to kill two birds with one stone here and use this um, kind of almost empty Bath and Body Works. You can see here there's, let me see if you can see it. Oops. Ah. There's just a little bit of perfume left in there, and this is a step that I would add anyway just to give the product a little bit of a scent. So I'm going to use this spray bottle, and then it also has the perfume in there already. You're going to need your favorite conditioner. This actually is a travel bottle that Mom brought last time she was here, and it contains the ever-precious Diva Curl One Condition Conditioner. It's amazing. Holy Grail, life-changing stuff. So we're going to put a little bit in there. And this is a gel that I talked about. I'm not going to use a lot of this. Now, you could use more if you want it to be more of, you know, a high hold kind of gel hair control spray or a little bit less of it if you just want it to be more of a wetting product, which I do. But this is one of my absolute favorite, favorite Holy Grail hair gels. I talked about this. Um, Fructis Pure Clean Gel. It's just no crap in there, no waxes, and it really doesn't make your hair crunchy at all. And I'm going to use a little bit of coconut oil. Really, any brand will do. This is um, Spectrum Organic coconut oil. Um, coconut oil is phenomenal for your hair because it's just very, very light. And this is going to be a water-based product. We're going to use this water that I have here. So the oil isn't really going to mix in with it very well. We're just going to use a little bit because we don't want to really to make our hair greasy. But you're going to have to probably shake it to kind of incorporate the oil when you actually use it. Then the last thing that we're going to need is sea salt here, which is excellent for texturizing curly hair. So let's get started. Um, one thing you're going to notice in any of the videos where I'm actually making something is that I don't measure anything. I'm so bad about that. I just don't do it. Uh, it's not in my repertoire. Even when I do home improvement projects, I don't measure stuff out. It's just a really, really bad cooking. Yeah, okay. Obviously, I have issues with, with that. Um, all right, so we have our perfume bottle here. Now, the first thing we're going to do is, and again, I'm just kind of guesstimating, I'm going to put a little bit of conditioner in there. And we don't really want, you know, too, too much here. Oops, where is it? There we go. Just kind of like a blob, I would say. It's probably about a, uh, maybe a teaspoon size if you were to kind of measure it out, amount. 
like half of a golf ball, basically. I guess you could also say. Um, all right, so the gel, we're going to put the gel in there. I'm only going to put about a pea-sized amount of gel in there. And again, you could put, you know, more or less, depending on how much control you want this to have. I want it to have a little bit of control, but I also, again, don't want it to be really crazy crunchy. Salt. Well, okay, we'll wait with the salt. Um, coconut oil. You really want just a very little bit. I would say this I actually am going to use a spoon just because I don't like to, you know, I don't want to make a gigantic mess. Put it in here. Um, I'm using about a teaspoon, and that's even probably kind of a lot. Uh, I would say probably a teaspoon or half a teaspoon. So then you're going to take your water, and this is already quite hot. I went ahead and warmed it up in the microwave. I did actually use purified water, which I recommend for your hair, because any of the minerals that are in tap water, like chlorine and iron and things like that, will actually change the color of your hair, and it will strip. Um, the color a lot faster. So I'm going to put about a teaspoon of salt into this water here. I cook also. And I'll take my little oil spoon here and just kind of mix it around. And the reason you want the water hot is because you want the salt to melt in here. You want it to dissolve. And that is going to obviously work a lot better than gigantic chunks of salt floating around. Okay, so that is going to do its thing here, and then I'm going to pour it into the bottle with the rest of everything else without making the world's most gigantic mess ever possible. Um, you don't want to fill it entirely the way up because you really are going to want to shake this product. Here, let me kind of wipe the edge off. All right. So now you've got all that stuff in your bottle. You're going to shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. 14 years of bartending, I've got this pretty well down pat. You're going to shake it up hardcore. And here is your spray. Ta-da! Um, unfortunately, you're just going to have to kind of take my word for it that this works because my hair is straight right now and it's not really going to help for me to spray it all over the place. But spraying it in your hand, um, it is warm, so you're going to want to wait a few minutes for the ingredients to kind of incorporate. But when you put that little bit of perfume in there, you know, you can really use any perfume. It is... This did come out with kind of a strong scent, so, you know, more or less on the perfume as well. But I do like to kind of have a little bit of a scent in my hair. I think it's a nice thing that kind of draws people into you. All right, so hope you enjoyed, and give it a try. Bye.